Speaking of shift, by November 30 of this year, nationwide wireless providers must be able to comply with the FCC's new location-based routing requirements for 911 calls. The goal is to reduce the time needed to respond to emergency calls. Here to break this down for us is the Vice President of Tech at Intrato, John Snap. John, good to see you, sir. Uh, want good to, to see talk you. About, Thank you for having me. Yeah, you bet. I want to talk about your company's role here in a second. But first, just for the audience that's not really aware of why this is so important, can you tell them? Yeah, this is very important um, because when prior, prior to the location-based routing rules coming into place, wireless calls were routed based upon the cell tower that you made the call from. And the, typically the 911 centers are based upon county boundaries. And the call needed to go to the appropriate center so they could dispatch the resources to really deal with the call in a time, an orderly time fashion. If the call went to the wrong center, which it often did 20 to 30% of the time because it was based on just that cell site location, the call had to be transferred. That took 30 to 40 seconds on delaying the call. And in the time of a life critical emergency, 30 to 40 seconds is can be the difference between life and death. Now so with location-based routing, the, the call is based on, are routed on the precise location and that re dramatically reduces the number of misroutes. Okay, so just, just being clear, it's not just about the speed, it is also about the location and the exact location, which should be getting faster and more accurate? Yes, that's correct. Um, the, the location, I mean, the call was always routed just upon the cell site. So now we're at routing on a very precise location within 135 meters of where the user is. And that's used to get to the right center almost all of the time now, instead of routing to the, particularly the wrong center. And then the, the, the centers are also getting um, additional location information that will even locate the caller more precisely once they've received the call. But that typically takes 20 to 30 seconds for that more precise location to come through. So it should be some great news for wireless users, which is essentially all of us these days. And what role does your company play here in the process? So we are one of the main routers for the wireless carriers that actually route the calls to the 911 agencies. We also are a provider of call handling equipment for the 911 agencies and one of the major providers of the network that routes the calls for next generation 911. And we were really the ones that innovated um, the solution for deploying um, location-based routing for the wireless carriers. Uh, at first glance, when people hear wireless routing and location, they have a, a negative reaction because consumers feel like they're just being tracked all the time. Can, can you weigh in on that at all? Yeah, exactly. So 911 is a very specific um, and very privacy-related function. So the phones look that you're actually dialing 911, and when you do that, they turn on some location functions that pass the location. That's only available for 911. It's only sent with your 911 call, and it's sent to the operator so they can provide help for you. So if you could, describe the process, the technology, in accurately determining the location of 911 calls. Yeah, so the, the, the technology is, is sort of diverse. There's multiple places. Your location can be determined on your phone. As we've noticed, re so traditionally the location was done by the network determining the location of the phone. This is what happened around 2001, had been used into more recently. More recently, as you know, you can order a pizza from your phone and such, the phones have their own autonomous location capabilities. So we're now using that capability along with the location of the network to determine your location using multiple technologies and even locations, technologies from GPS or crowdsource Wi-Fi or Bluetooth beacons, all of those are being able to utilize to put together, determine the best location of the user so it can be routed appropriately at the time of the call and it can be given that precise location to the dispatch so they can actually use that to find the person that's calling if they're unable to give their location. What brought, brought about this change? Uh, really, it's a change in technology that occurred. Mm -hmm. um, up until recently, it took 20 to 30 seconds to get location from the phone. Now, as the phones have been getting more of their own autonomous location technologies, we're able to get the, the location quicker. And to be able to do location-based routing, we needed to have the location 
accurate enough to route the call at the time of the call, not five seconds, not 10 seconds later. So more, so more recently, with a lot of the changes from the handset manufacturers, we're able to get that much more accurate location earlier on in the call. Very good. So how do you envision the future of emergency response technology? What trends do you see shaping in the industry as we move forward? So I see the big changes are as we're moving towards next generation 911. That's being deployed around the country. We're one of the big providers of that. You're seeing that deployed a lot in California and many of the states around the country. That allows us to go and give more data to the 911 call taker about the call, the situation, the caller, or the location. Prior to this, they only got 512 characters of information. Now we can pass the location, we can pass provide other associated addresses with the user, such as their home address, if it shows that that's very close to where their 911 call is, because they may be in an apartment, it may be hard to find what apartment they're in. This will tell them the door that they may be behind. We're, we give multiple types of location technologies that are coming out. Um, we're giving additional information that may be provided that the counties and local governments may have about information that a user provides about themselves. There's handset information that may be medical data that you can provide to say, during a 911 call, I want to release this data about medical conditions I have or emergency contacts or such. And we think this additional information is dramatically going to help um, provide help to the people making emergency calls that are needing help quickly. All right, that's some great news. John Snap, VP of Tech at Entrado. Appreciate you being with us, sir. Thank you.